Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you are a regular follower of my channel, you know that I take a special pleasure whenever I am covering diverse models or diverse tools from all over the globe. I have covered heaps of Arabic models and I just stumbled upon this new Arabic model which is called as Alum 7 Billion Instruct and that is what we are going to install locally and we will test it out on various benchmarks to see how exactly it performs on Arabic language. It is a model that is designed to advance Arabic language technology that has been developed by NCAI at Saudi Data and AI Authority. This model has been trained from scratch, so it's not a fine tune on top of other models. If you go to my channel, search with Arabic, you will see that these are few of the models which I have covered in the last few um, couple of years, I would say. This one is uh, the one which Cohere dropped. Not uh, That was a bit of a disappointing model, but anyway. So some of them are fine tuned on top of other models, but this alum model is a model which has been trained from scratch and their scratch recipe consists of two steps first training on around four four trillion of english tokens followed by training on 1.2 trillion mixed arabic english tokens and that is how it retains the english capabilities of the model without any forgetting or overfitting so primarily it is transferring knowledge from one language distribution to another which i think it's a quite nifty technique so let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works before that let me give a huge shout out to mass compute for sponsoring the video that's right no saudi uh, oil well or uh, any billionaire is sponsoring this video only mass compute is sponsoring this vm which is ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card and vt rtx 6000 with 48 GPU of Vira. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description plus a discount coupon of 50%. So I'm creating the virtual environment. And then as usual, let's install and create some of the prerequisite packages, which include Torch and Transformers. Another sponsors of the video, again, not from Saudi Arabia, is this agent bot agent bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description but if you are from saudi arabia and uh, you want to show your generosity and maybe feel free to just gift me an oil well maybe you know couple of camels if you please if not then just go to my channel buy me a coffee maybe but don't feel compelled to it i will still cover the arabic models nonetheless so let's wait for all of these to get installed and then we will proceed further and let me now launch my jupyter notebook okay so let's now download the model with the tokenizer it's a standard transformer stuff and the model is being downloaded the size is quite decent just only three shards and the model is loaded let's do the inference for the inference i'm just going to give it this prompt first and then we are encoding it after applying the chat template with the tokenizer then the model is generating the output we are decoding it back and then printing out the response I'm also going to translate it into English just so that we know what is happening. So I'm going to use Google Translate. And meanwhile, let me run this. So it has come back with the response, but first show, let me show you the question. So the question was, how do I prepare a cup of tea in Arabic? And it has given us the answer. So if I just go down, this is the whole answer. I have no idea what it says. So I'm just going to pick it up and get it translated. If you're an Arabic speaker, Please, please also tell us if it is correct or not. So I'm just, maybe it is too long for it. So I'm just going to remove this text. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to remove this. Let's go up. There you go. So it has given us proper answer. The recipe that boil plays a tea bag. It looks good to me. This is how we make tea. Good stuff. Okay. Let me now do a lot of questions in one go 
so i'm just going to go back so i'll just go here and then paste this so what i'm doing here i'm just giving it a lot of questions in a list and they deal with different scenarios so for example the first one is again the same one and then i'm talking about what are the most famous types of food in middle east how can i maintain a healthy lifestyle what is the best time to visit shabu sheikh uh, i believe that is a place in egypt and then what is the importance of reading and all that stuff so i'm just going to run this and see how it goes okay sorry i haven't defined the model my apologies let me put in the model variable and i have fixed the typo here so this was the typo here anyway so it is running let me show you the vram consumption and it is consuming close to 28 gig of vram so let's go back and it has already given me the answer so i'm just going to maybe uh, i'll just skip this one this is the same one so this was a question or sawal as i can check maybe i'll just get this one i can see it says show our mind falafel so it is doing something okay let's check it out okay let me fix it and there you go so if you look at the answer so what are the most popular middle eastern foods and it has started talking about those kebabs shawarma and hummus and all that stuff looks quite good if you are fasting and it's still it's daytime my apologies i don't mean to really you know make your fast difficult but look i think the model looks quite good let's try out one more prompt okay next up i am asking it this question which is primarily evaluating its grammar correction so i have just given it this prompt where i'm asking it to correct the mistakes if any uh, in this sentence and explain them so if you see that it has given me the response here let's check it out and let me shrink it sorry so this is the response where it is saying that this there are mistakes in the following sentence and then it is picking out the mistakes that this is a correct one and then this is the first one that hard working should be hard working to agree with of course i think it will be hard to read it in english so i am leaning towards my arabic viewers to just read through this arabic response and then tell us if it has identified the grammatical mistakes in arabic and if it has explained them well so that's it let me know what do you think about this if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching